Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio. This is a show where we only talk about what is very important to us. Today we talk about... He was sticking his dick into a Twinkie and was like... Rosebud and then the floater. Bananas are always garbage. I want to fuck a giraffe, dude. Let me get stilts. <laughs> Here we go. Sick. Bam! Rolling. Bam! Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. What up, oh party God. people? Yo. Is that how your parents would wake you up, like, on a weekend? Like, maybe you were having a little bit of a slumber party. Would they say, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey? Because yeah. that's oh. how my family would wake me up. Yeah, my dad would always come in and say that. Eggs and bakey? <laughs> my mom would sing a little song. She'd say, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time yeah. to rise and shine. Yep. yep, I got that too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're, I hope feeling, you're feeling fine. fine. Get, out, Get your out, bed, out of your bed, you sleepy, you sleepy head. head. That's right. You're just copying. You're, do you know yeah. it now? <laughs> no, we're going at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. if Your parents didn't sing. No. No, we grew up together. What is it from? That's a question. What is that from? I don't know. It's probably... it's. It's probably rooted in Christianity. If I have is to that for real? You guys woke up like that? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Sometimes, if my mom was in a good mood, if she had her, wow, mine was good. Uh, <laughs> good night, good night. You sleepy head. Oh wait, get up, get up. You sleepy head. Get up, get up. Get out of bed. Yeah, uh-huh. we had that one too. Not much of a song, kind of just a few words thrown together in a sing-song fashion, but what you, I know I had a good time. Yeah. Durs, what was yours, man? I got to hear. <laughs> yeah, Durs. My, my mom would come in my room. She would just go to my stereo, turn on the classical station, crank it, and leave the room. That's tight. That's a great snooze. I would snooze. go and that's her ballistic. Musical. Ballistic? Wow. I fuck it. Yeah. Cause I'm like <laughs> chilling, and all of a sudden it's like, and I'm like hungover or whatever. You know, I'm 13. I'm just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, you started early. Just f- so hungover. You gotta kick the most recent but girl dude, out I'm of bed. To, I'm, th- I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to sleep and grow, man. She's stunning my growth with that shit. Hey, man, you're Bro, big as sounds- hell, though, man. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. I could have been six seven. <laughs> yeah, thank God she stunned your growth, dude. You sounds kind of nice, boy. like classical in the morning. That sounds kind of dope. Yeah, it does sound pleasant. No, no, no. It was brutal. Cranked. Not like pleasant. Like super loud to be like, get the fuck up out of your bed and turn it off. And while you're up. Who are we talking about here, though? Was it like Beethoven? Was it Mozart? Was but it, uh, <laughs> I could go on But after on. you got out of bed, was there eggs and bakey wait, waiting? Yeah. No. Did you have any <laughs> eggs and bakey? I never had eggs and bakey waiting for me no, either. I'm not saying never, but like <laughs> usually it was like, uh, hey, there's instant oatmeal and your yep. brothers are already out of the house. We need you to leave. Just oh, go just go somewhere. We need you to leave. <laughs> you gotta it's time go. To go. Yeah. Dude, I used to mash on instant oatmeal a lot as well. I know we had the <sighs> cereal so discussion, mm-hmm. but do you remember there was little like four packs where it would be like one flavor? Quaker oat, baby. Yeah, it was like raisin. Yeah. Yep. Apple, the apple cinnamon, get mm-hmm. at me. Cinnamon and spice, and then the brown sugar one was flamethrower. Yes. Yeah, brown sugar. What you do is you mix a brown sugar with that apple cinnamon. Oh fuck! Call it a life. Actually, but never tell done me, that. tell me, y'all got the box with the cream flavors, bro? With the banana and the peach. So banana oh. was garbage, but peach, <laughs> bananas, are, bananas are always and- garbage. <laughs> Okay, that's right. Oh, banana. <laughs> oh, don't talk about it. Oh, don't even mention bananas. Blueberry was good. Peach off the chain. Blueberry off the chain. I couldn't, honestly, though, I didn't do the fucking oatmeal because I didn't like the consistency of it either. I was like all ego all the time or cereal. Oh, dude, egos. How many? Three or four? Four, player. We had the, yeah. four, the four banger, the toaster that was the four banger. <laughs> dude, it would go so fast. <laughs> so good. Homestyle buttermilk uh, Ray Ho- OG Homestyle Homestyle yeah. man Oh what about Ego minis bro Do not get me started on those Not worth it Rather so have did, an Ego What are you Fucking a bird so Rather what, have an uh, Ego So what Ego specific song Did your parents wake you up to uh, yeah, what was the Ego song? Egos, Egos Yeah fucking Egos <laughs> What was it It was Egos Egos yeah. in the paper route Did you guys have paper routes did you guys have I to wake up did. early? 
Yeah, I had a paper route. You did? Yeah. I uh, I got in a lot of trouble because what I did was I <laughs> did it for a long time. I did it for a couple years. <laughs> you got in trouble? <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble. Uh, I did it for a few years, and so I knew everyone on my route. And I told them I could give them, like, a huge discount. I forget the exact number, but they had to oh. pay me cash. Like and the so people right. buying the newspaper? The people, the people buying the newspaper, because I was the one that would give them the slip saying it's time for them to re-up yeah. uh, for uh -huh. the next year's worth of papers or however long. Yeah. And I'd go, hey, if you pay me cash, uh, it's half off or whatever. And they're like, okay. And then they'd pay me cash. And then I would just go to the, uh, the uh, grocery store put a quarter in, and then take out all, all of the newspapers for the day. <laughs> oh, right. oh, there it is. There it is. And then go and just give them their paper. Genius. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. How old are you at this point? 13. Oh, okay, wow. 14. You were posing as a paper boy, basically. Like, you had nothing to do with the... Well, I still had some, I still had some people. I only did it to the people that I felt comfortable enough proposing this to lie to. <laughs> to lie to <laughs> what, what, did you it was a lot of grandmas grandpas yes anyone old feeble-minded yeah i guess my question is did you have <laughs> did you have any affiliation with the actual paper or were you just running like in your You're own the, lane no i i was i started with the paper and then i i segued into uh, a, a kind of a gray area so you were technically them, I am, so, I am so giving like, them papers. <laughs> <laughs> they are getting the same newspaper. Hey man, I don't know if you know about newspaper, but it's a black and white industry, man. We don't play in the gray area. You killed the industry, brother. Oops. Uh, I thought you were like, was he affiliated? Like, did you write for the newspaper? Did you No, uh, was, like hey, so, sorry, so, Blake. Oops. The Daily Divine. <laughs> so you just let their you would just I just want to get my wrap my heads around this, but you you would give heads? you would heads? Yeah, yeah, I got a few of them. Okay. But Dang. Th you would just okay. they would order the paper. They would order the paper and then you would just let their subscription phase out and then write up your own draft slips. Well, I was the they I was in charge. Like this is intricate. Yes. Of of giving the slip around saying, mm -hmm. hey, for the next the you can sign up for another years of paper years worth of paper for however much money yeah and you and you made the price damn and it was you made a profit because you stole all the papers yeah. and then i was like but for half off if you give me cash you'll get your paper every day and they're like yeah okay Adam, you're a fucking cool yeah. dude bro yeah i commend you that <laughs> yeah. that is your hottest scheme to date <laughs> That You're a business sick. man. <laughs> I'm yeah. a business man. Yo, so what is this? You're on like a bicycle, you guys? Or all oh. like riding bikes and throwing the newspaper out at five in the morning? Rollerblades. Yes, 90s mm -hmm. as fuck. Rollerblading my ass off. Rollerblades. So then you have like a, a messenger bag with how many? I mean, how do you I, break this down? Because it, where I yeah. grew up, men driving cars threw the mm. newspaper out. That started to happen. It was a lot of bicycling for me with front and back and then i would have to go back halfway through and reload how many people how many houses i want to say like 80 something like that wow yeah it was a fat well, i think i had about between 60 and 120 like 150 was the most it was like yeah. when we got the whole neighborhood mm -hmm. but i would rollerblade with it like unfolded and fucking fold them while I was blading and then throw them with like rubber bands. Blader boy. I actually did mine. I did mine yeah. as a team with my mom. We rolled around in the in the Mazda minivan and I would pop out the side door on my rollerblades. And because oh, we right. were doing like yeah. seven routes at once, we were yeah. running the block. Right. You had a lot of papers. I think you were like 300 or 400 papers or something like that, yeah, right? it was crazy. My mom was stacking cash. And That's dope. <laughs> uh, and actually, I remember it truly sucking. Like, by the time you got – because I did it till I was like 14 uh, – till I think I was like 15-ish. That's too old, right? Yeah. It was a little old. And I – You were like the weirdo old guy and the nine-year-olds were <laughs> – I was like, the, what's your deal, man? I mean, I'm trying to have like a weekend now. Like your weekend yeah. shop. Yeah, that was really tough. Oh, so this was during the weekend, not the week? 
It was seven days a week. Every day. Because everybody gets their papers every day. So, like, you'd have to deliver it by 6.30 Monday through Friday and oh, then yeah. by, like, 7.30 on Saturdays and 8 on Sundays. That was, yeah. like, when you'd have to have all the papers in by in, wow. in my hood. It gave me, like, a true, like, triggering feeling of the sound of an alarm clock, like that. Yeah. If I would hear that right. on shows, I would start to shake and convulse. Really. <laughs> right. It fucked with me. It was a big job, man. Every fucking day you had to deliver the paper. Now that I think about it, when we were doing it on Rollerblades, this was like exactly at the time when we were, uh, maybe this is a California thing. Were you guys ever into roller hockey? That shit was. Yeah, oh, yeah uh, I played, played a bunch of that. Yeah. Brink, the movie Brink was very popular. Um, uh -huh. Brink? Which one was Brink? The rollerblading movie i just remember airborne yeah airborne is right. the movie that i remember too but i sure. think i've seen brink but i don't recall it and i might be out of pocket i don't know if i i, I kind of pulled that from the uh i made a made the a old movie. back back brain <laughs> so, might have made a movie out there I, I think i think that's real <laughs> you guys remember uh roller hawk right <laughs> <laughs> hey, I started some roller hockey. About dude. roller hockey, it was a uh, Christian Slater and Matt, uh, wasn't a Brink. Brink's a real. <laughs> Who else was in it? Matt Dillon. Dude, if there was a movie where there was a hawk playing roller hockey and it was called Roller Hawk, <laughs> yeah, I'd be down with that. That would be so tight. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, <laughs> it takes a champ to stay in line. Brink, 1998. Yeah, oh, inline skates. Inline, inline skates, skates. yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Clever play on words. Love it. it. I don't know if that is a good play on words. What does that even mean? It takes a champ to stay in line? I I think it thinks it's a play on words. Yeah. Who wrote the play movie? On words? Right. Who wrote the movie? Yeah, you know what? Fuck Brink. <laughs> <laughs> Airborne for life. I would never not rep for Airborne, but Brink, you can suck a dog. Airborne was one of the best movies, like... Is Gleaming the Cube rollerblading, or is Gleaming the Cube BMX? That's skateboarding. Mm. Gleaming the Cube is Christian Slater skateboarding. The yeah. only thing that rivals baseball movies are extreme sports movies. They're so good. They're so <laughs> I would good. say, I would, no, no. <laughs> what, war movies? The only thing, <laughs> the only thing that yeah. rivals them. Yeah, you brought up baseball movies yeah. like they're at the top of the heap right now. Like that's, yeah, baseball's number one and then. <laughs> that's super weird, bro. Well, hold on. Like, that's, I don't know, I feel hold, like hold ice on. cream. You're, are you saying specifically movies or? Yeah, specifically movies, man. Baseball is one. Well, let's zero in here for a second. So let's zero in on baseball <laughs> movies, period. What are what are the top? Field of Dreams. Off the hook. Baseball movies. Field of Dreams. Rookie of the Year. Bull Durham. Rookie of the Year. Bull Dur Durham. Angels in uh, the Outfield. Angels in the Outfield. The Natural. The nat The Natural. The Natural. Angels. But hold on. But like, is Angels in the Outfield? Uh, Major League. Two for sure. Major League Two. Major League, yes. Major League One's kind of whack. Are these in separate categories, even within baseball movies? Like, are we really going to compare Field of Dreams with oh, Angels in the Outfield? Both supernatural. Fucking Sandlot. Yes. Yes. Right. So <laughs> what I'm saying is the Sandlot more of like a Rookie of the Year, Angels in the Outfield thing. No, I don't think. I think. I think it's a big blanket. It's a big blanket, and it's huge. Everyone can snuggle up underneath this thing. It's baseball yeah. movies. But yeah, what's the, the what's the number one? What's the best baseball movie? Major League? Rookie of the Year. Huh? Hey, hey, look. <laughs> Bull Durham is probably the best movie, right? Oh, little little big league. There's one I'm just I'm putting it in. I never got into Bull Durham and then Bull I watched Durham. it again and I, I didn't get into it again. Um Oh, you ah. didn't grow up watching it. Dude, I, I saw it when I was young, but I, I did, did not constantly watch it. Mm. Okay. I think my favorite baseball movie of all time is The Sandlot. Yeah. Sandlot is my favorite. Sandlot's amazing. I just have to like keep it real like that. I feel yeah. like I pull from that film a lot even now. Like it has it affected me and just like mm -hmm. it had a spirit that was mm -hmm. so much fucking fun. Yeah. Um, for, for me, it's basketball. <laughs> <laughs> basketball is so good. Yeah. I know. I know. Well, that could be that could be both. That could be a baseball and basketball yeah. movie. <laughs> right. Basketball is actually wildly underrated. I would say. Oh, you know what movie we should talk about a little bit on the pod? Uh oh. Is Paramount Plus's very own workaholics movie? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? But do you guys think it's going to be better than a baseball movie? 
I think well, we it, have to have baseball elements. Yeah, I want to sure. talk about that. Yeah. I would like it to be a like a softball. And here's my pitch. It's <laughs> it's uh it's a uh employee versus staff game. So mm-hmm. it's Jillian and Mary Beth. <laughs> employee versus, versus staff? <laughs> versus staff. Or versus uh, employers. Uh, and that's Employer. the first that's the first big uh, plot twist. That's the first big like aha moment. Hey, well, we're pitching on it, guys. Okay. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yes. What if we uh like this is a safe space? Instead of the natural <laughs> What if uh first big we, aha moment? Wait a minute, employees <laughs> are staff. <laughs> the big yeah. turn. So twenty big minutes plot in, twist, we're like, yeah. what? So everybody listening out there, this is just a little window into uh, when we break some stories down. This is what Adam's bringing to the table. Back in the workaholics days, he'd be like, yo, so what if we get to the office, right? Are you in- so then we're at the office, <laughs> which is basically home, and we're like. Uh huh. Okay. So well, it's all right. the office versus the workplace. It's yeah, really yeah. good. Are you employee or are you staff? <laughs> I'm saying we could have a Sandlot style. If are we want to do, we love the Sandlot. We're saying yeah. that's the best. Blake says that's. He says it's b- baseball movies are number one. So if we're saying Sandlot is number one of baseball right, movies, that right. means my favorite. Yep, to my Blake, favorite. it's the best and greatest movie of all time. Sandlot is is right. It's, it's how we kind of broke it down. So maybe the Workaholics movie is j- we're just doing. It's basically Sandlot, but it's yeah. Hey man, it, I like it's it. employees versus Mary Beth staff. versus Alice. I feel like I do know who everybody is. Right, we know who staff is now. Like Adam, you're definitely the catcher, right? <laughs> oh yeah, fast talking catcher, For home sure. run hitter. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> that guy was awesome. Blake, are you the new? Are you the new kid with the long hat, Blake? Who like uh, with the long bill? Yeah, sorry, what uh, did I say? Long bill. Yeah. yeah, it's Bill Hat Staff. Oh, the the guy who moved into the new town. I'm yeah. James Earl Jones. <laughs> Yeah, yeah you're got- the old you're the old blind man next door. Babe Ruth played <laughs> baseball with me. <laughs> the best. Oh, the best. He was oh. a nice guy. It was the best. <laughs> Where's my dog? <laughs> oh man. man. Pop. Lights went out. I, I think I know who Kyle is. Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Ooh. Kyle, you're welcome, oh. dog. You're welcome, dog. I Kyle's know you like the that. dog. <laughs> I'm the jet? Kyle's the dog. You're going to put on a costume? I think you're the jet. (laughs) You're the jet. I mean, man, fucking dude, 10-year-old me is flipping out right now. Like, yes, I'm the jet. I'm the fucking jet. Yeah, dude. Hey, 37-year-old you can also flip out a little bit. Yeah, Yeah. because you know what? The jet, you know where he lands? He lands in pro ball, man. Stealing fucking home, baby. Stealing home. MLB, baby. Dodger, Dodger baseball. Yeah. Guys, I, I hang on, I hang on. I hate to break it to you, but Jillian's going to be the Jet, okay? We're flipping okay. it. It's 2020. Wait, hold on a minute. Like she that. creates women's professional <laughs> baseball. Wait, what and the that's hell? where the movie ends. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you, good. Kyle, you just lost your part to Jillian. <laughs> and that's what Durst brings. This is Paramount Plus, <laughs> not Paramount Minus. That's what I bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I was just celebrating the <laughs> casting of the Jet. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I cast. I threw that out there, and uh, you got recast. PF Flyers. He had a better pitch. He immediately had a better pitch, and we have mm-hmm. to go with that now. So, so mm-hmm. wait, where did I land then? Where did I land? Kyle, you can be you can be Emilio Estevez. We don't think you're. Yeah, I think you you are uh, Squints. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, yes. Hey, you're yeah yeah or no? Bill Bill's probably yeah yeah. Dude, Squints is tight, man. Squints is tight. Yeah, Squints is pretty dope. Squints <laughs> is like. <laughs> is Emilio? Estevez not in that? No, that's Mighty Ducks. Squ- Squints is the guy who goes forever. Forever. The dad's fucking, what's his name? The asshole. What's that guy's name? Uh, Stand-up comedian, 90s MTV commercials. Dennis Leary. Paulie Dennis Shore. Leary. Mm. The one and only. Oh, yeah, but they go have... They go have a catch, and it's a good scene. He's got a good scene in that flick. Did you guys grow up saying have a catch? Oh, yeah. I played catch all the time. Wait. I was always scared of Dennis Leary as a kid. 
I, I put, uh, sorry, Dennis Leary or Catch? <laughs> you were afraid of Dennis Leary. I, I get that. Yeah. Dennis Leary's face. Yeah, he's like a <laughs> yeah. scary looking guy. It was weird to me that he was the stepdad. I'm like, when I remember first watching, when I first watched that movie, I remember thinking, oh, he's going to beat his stepson. <laughs> like he looks like a mean yeah. stepdad. You were just waiting for the turn where he, <laughs> I was, I was ready. I, I was, I think I'd seen like, um, radio flyer, radio yeah. flyer. Damn. Mm -hmm. That was, was pretty was around the same time. And was like, well, I know what this movie is. I thought it was a lighthearted, uh, baseball movie, but it turns out Dennis Leary's mean looking face is going to beat the shit out of this kid. And then it's going to be sad. And he finds solace with his team of ragtag group of baseball friends. And that's the Workaholics movie. <laughs> Are you reading the VHS box? That's the Workaholics movie, dude. We just wrote it. It's Sandlot Mises Radio Flyer. Dang, okay. Uh, I think that's why they cast him, though, because they were like, oh, this guy looks scary. There's no way these kids will connect to him. He'll scare the kids. Uh, you know. this, we're Disney. <laughs> we have to scare them up top. I do wish it was like Gilbert Gottfried originally, who was like, don't touch my baseball. And you're like, uh, we got to recast this too. He, he was the James Earl Jones. Wait, you're going down to the park? <laughs> it is Gilbert. weird that he, that the new kid, he gets there, his stepdad, who is, they've obviously been together, his mom and stepdad, a little while. Uh, and he collects baseballs and baseball paraphernalia. He's never played catch with this kid. This kid has never played catch. I, I don't know how long that. Why? Why? Why do you think they've been together for a long time? Yeah, I thought it was a relatively new relationship. Well, they've been dating long enough that he, they now are married and moved in with each other. Like you'd think, he, in the courting process, he would have thrown a baseball <laughs> with his fucking kid. And goddamn, he just ignored him right. for a, a solid year straight. Dude, you don't know. I mean, you got to remember, this is a, it's a time thing. I think he like, I think he worked a lot. I think he was, I think yeah. he worked a lot. I think he was always at work. This is the fifties for sure. <laughs> okay. I blame, I blame the mom. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, well, huh. the, I feel like I feel like he should have gotten out there and thrown because then he showed up this new town, looked like an asshole, didn't know how to throw a baseball. Come on now. That was the whole thing, though. His dad, his stepdad went out and taught him how to throw a ball. It's like, you know, but he, he also had no interest in it. He had no interest in it. I don't remember this part, but he had a solid year to throw a fucking baseball with this kid. We don't know that. We don't know how long it was. I don't believe that's ever disclosed. The, the kid didn't have interest in it either, because at the end, isn't he like, you like baseball, right? No, he loves baseball. What? At the very end of the movie, he is a <laughs> uh, a, a sportscaster. He uh, does the play-by-play -play for the Dodgers, I, and uh, Benny the Jet is playing for the Dodgers. Does right. he like baseball at the beginning of the movie, or does he just go to the backyard and see these kids playing baseball, and is like, all right, I got to jump in? Yeah, I think that's yeah, what that's it is, it. an attempt to I don't play think he, to have friends. Because he's wearing the dumbass hat, right? Yeah, he doesn't He doesn't know what he's doing. Yes, <laughs> yes. He's a fish out of water when it comes to the baseball diamond. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that's right. But his mom had a little uh, yeah, something with baseball. <laughs> <Did> she like, <laughs> no, did that's, she? <laughs> that's rookie of the year. No, that's rookie of the year. The mom is the pitcher. Oh, oh, yeah. right, 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 right. I got the, my twist mixed up. The floater is the most epic moment in cinema history. That reveal blew <laughs> my mind, dude. I got my twist mixed up. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't even get why it was a big deal. She was like, I was the one who played baseball. I'm like, what? Because, dude, he... Why didn't you just tell him? Sorry for flipping to that movie. Because <laughs> she was, like, glorifying his father who he didn't know. But, like... My bad. She, yeah, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Right. I guess it's a hella deep commentary on what women had to do back in the day, huh? Blake... The biggest reveal of all time? Come yeah. on, man. It was like that in Usual Suspects, dude. I was like, what? Yeah. Rosebud and then the floater. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking... The floater, it comes out of nowhere and I, I swear, was it, it still gives me chills. Kaiser Say So in uh, Usual <laughs> Suspects? Yeah, Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiser Say So. so. <laughs> hey, because Kaiser Say So, you're fucking grounded. No. <laughs> Kaiser says so. What is it? What is his name? It's something like that. Kaiser, Kaiser Sosa. 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 No. no. Sosa. That's Keith Chief. It's Kaiser Sazo. 
<laughs> no, it's Kaiser Sose. I think I said it right. And then it's Kaiser Sose. It's Kaiser Sose. Kaiser Sose. Yes, we're playing. So say what it is then. Yeah, so say it. <laughs> 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 Kaiser, so say it. You guys are okay. so say whatever you want to say. <laughs> what guys. was that one? You guys are so say so. Damn. You guys are so uh, say whatever you want to say. All right. Hey, and and by the way, guys, the Workaholics movie just wrote itself. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Let's just show up to set. Uh, and be be dressed yeah. for uh, six weeks of playing baseball because yeah. that's that's all we have right now. Have on some comfortable <laughs> shoes. We're ready to go. <laughs> cleats. Can we get a cleat sponsor up I'm, in the mix? Uh, I'm showing up in rollerblades because we're making a rollerblade movie, okay? Uh-huh. I'm going to be wearing pony rubber cleats. <laughs> I like if we show up dressed for the movie we want to make. Nobody reads the script. <laughs> uh-huh. That's tight. Well, there is no script. We have to write the script. There will be no script. We just have to show up day one, dress as the movie we want to make, and work backwards from there. Yeah, we're right. just pad the schedule, improv the flick. Durs is in a speedo. <laughs> yeah, we're shooting for 120 days. We'll, yeah. We will find something. There will be a movie here. <laughs> So uh-huh. I'm still stuck on the fact that we just said Sandlot is the greatest film of all time. No, well, no, oh, wait, Blake. That was only because of the caveat of Blake saying that baseball movies are <laughs> unarguably at the top of the heap. They yeah. are but, tied with extreme sports. We didn't agree with that. Uh, we didn't right, agree yeah. on that shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's other genres of movies that <laughs> tied with extreme sports. <laughs> well, okay, that, what? Okay, okay, that's a good. What is your favorite genre of movie? If it's not baseball ooh, movies, it's got to be porno, it's, right? No, <laughs> porno movies. <laughs> yeah, porno movies. Come on, outside of outside of porno, outside of baseball, or, movies. or within porno. <laughs> Favorite genre within porno? Porno. Or we're saying baseball Gonzo. porno movies? I guess I like Gonzo. I like yeah. POV, baseball porno movies. I like Gonzo. PMV, the professional music videos where it's set to like actual music. Yo. Dude, I love those. Those 4K. are so game I love changing. the 4K pornos, to be honest. <laughs> Too many Ks. What? Oh, with the Oculus? I see Kyle's Oculus in the back. I know you've been watching some 3D porno. Yeah, you got it. Please tell us. I haven't flipped it on yet, but how you many? Know. Vi- you got to have three D now. Yeah, how many Tom- viruses are already on that Oculus <laughs> after a week? Um, it's clean <laughs> as of right now, but it's, it's growing something. Oh boy, time ticks on. Time continues ticking, so we'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna have your dick in an iPad in no time. <laughs> hey, remember when we thought we? I think it was season one, Workaholics. We thought we were going to create something, or we did yes. create something for the show where it was like a fleshlight that goes into your iPad and then you watch movies that kind of like the picture <laughs> yeah, the of the iPad shows what you should be fucking right. You watch the POV <laughs> porno. But then we went online. We went online and it existed already. <laughs> oh, for sure. Durs, that was when that was when we shared an office and we drew it on the board and we were like, <laughs> we're going to be right. fucking... <laughs> Millionaires. <laughs> uh, yeah, pornos are the most, or are, are, uh, perverts are the most ingenious people alive. Right. If whatever you can think of, there's a pervert out there who's already done it. Right. Did you guys know stilts <laughs> were invented by a pervert who was I trying did. to see over something? I actually did. Yeah. <laughs> over the fence, it was invented by a peeping yeah. dog. The automobile, the automobile was invented <laughs> by a dude who was so horny, he like was writing letters <laughs> with somebody and had to get to that town. He had to get there quicker. Yeah. No, dude was like, I want to fuck a giraffe, dude. Let me get stilts. <laughs> Get up in this giraffe. Yes, I'm sorry. It, that is the story. I'm sorry. So not just a, a regular pervert. It was a uh, bestiality. Yeah. bestiality. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bestiality guy. All right. Nasty. Boy, All right. nasty. Yeah, like we said, every genius was a pervert. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah, true. Yeah. I wonder how many inventions. Like, what's going on with the board today? Do you not have it today? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. What's what, what do you got? Drop wise, man. What do you got? We're, we're like, like twenty we're minutes been... in. You haven't. I haven't heard a single tickle of the. What do you mean? I've been dropping. You guys not hear them? No, you haven't dropped anything. We haven't heard anything. We haven't heard one. We, we've had nothing, dude. Oh shit! I've been dropping them. Is it not going through? What? You got to connect it, says the producers. That's really sad. Uh oh. Let's see the chat. You got to connect it. 
Todd is saying you got to connect. That is so sad. I've had some gold. I am connected. So that's why you've been cracking up over there? Like, you've been laughing extra hard, so you're the only one that can hear it. Oh. So you guys didn't hear me play Who Let the Dogs Out for Durs' Alarm Clock? Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't even know what you're talking about alarm clocks, really. Hey, we might have to go in and it might be the first time we go back and post and add uh, fun mm-hmm. sounds. Oh, my God. That makes me so sad. I've been absolutely fucking killing it. Did you think we were blowing you off? <laughs> yeah, because normally we laugh at the drops. So you thought we just weren't into it at all today. Oh, I thought you guys were like I was whiffing over here. <laughs> you were. Yeah, you, no, you did. Like, yeah. It's in an extreme way. Yeah, you whiffed the whole yeah. damn thing. <laughs> damn, uh-huh. yeah. I'm sorry. Fuck. You didn't even bring it to the party. Well, that connect really... it now. What are you doing? Can we I do did. this? Is well, then hit us with something, god damn it. I have been. Are you, is it not working? What the fuck is happening? Oh, uh, we hate to do this to you live and on air. We're okay. sorry, Dude. people. Oh, my gosh. I am embarrassed. <sighs> wow. Hey, what is that? What is that on your face, Blake? We hate to be doing this live. Oh, I know exactly what, what is happened. That? No. Yo, what is, is that, that on your face? Fuck, is that egg dude. on your face, Blake? That sucks. Looks like you got some yolk on your I'm, face, bud. That looks like some yolk. You know what, I'm though? This so kind of thing sad. only makes us stronger or makes us look bad. Nice <laughs> I think it's Bieber. the latter. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> we got the goody. We got Mr. Right. Nielsen. Dude, that makes me so sad. I was killing it on the board, I swear to God. That's my kind yeah. of Nielsen rating right there. Oh, man. I was wondering, but like, also didn't care. Yeah, I'm sorry. It doesn't really, I don't really like it. When you were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> when, yeah, turn it you, off. Turn it off. <laughs> when yeah, you were God, talking about waking it. up to music, I played Disturbed. I played Who Let the Dogs Out. It was really cracking over here. Uh, what, should we re, Should we redo it? Oh, yeah. Like my mom would come in and just turn on my stereo and turn it way up. Oh, and then wow. she would play. <laughs> no, it was actually kind of different. Um, it was super loud classical music, like fucking Beethoven. And, Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, Blake, you're right. You were killing it. No, it was like uh, Mozart. So when you were saying Mozart, Beethoven, were you hitting them? <laughs> you were killing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Because I, 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 like, I liked all that stuff. Thank you for that. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'll see you. I wish I woke up like that. <laughs> I'm going to have to re-edit my soundboard in. Damn, that sucks. It's all right. It's all right. It happens. Sorry again. Again, apologies to the listeners out there. We had to do that live. and, and mm-hmm. in. Yeah, well... And on the spot, and we apologize for that, but you can see what you did miss, and it was <laughs> awesome. <Perfect. laughs> there we go. It's perfect. perfect. Yes. So we're back now. Well, my my bad, guys. Damn. I'm really sorry. I'm glad you finally got there. I got a question Thanks. for you guys, because I'm out What's here. Up? It's fucking cold as shit out mm-hmm. here in Toronto. And where are you again for our listeners at home? I'm in Canada, Toronto, the Atlantic Northeast. A lot of people uh, call it um, the six. Oh, the six. Yeah. Why they call with, it the six? With your woes. Yeah, they they say it's the six. Drake have you been running us. through the six without your woes? Without, so you have no woes. I have. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Well, we're your. We are your woes, and you've been running through the six without with, them. Without them. I've been wow. running through the six without my woes. You know, Damn. it's been kind of crazy. But what I wanted, uh, you don't get this reference at all, Kyle. No, not at all. Sorry. So. Heard- have you Drake. listened to popular music in the last <laughs> eight years? Oof, that's a rough one. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies. Uh, there's this guy. He's uh, His name's Drake, and he's right. kind of- Yes, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Drake is up here. That's right. He's up here. One of the biggest musical artists right now. Yes. And he's from Toronto, and it's yes. his whole thing. Yes. And he is always, uh, why do they call it the six? I don't really know why. Is it an area code or what is, why is Toronto the six? Dude, I'll look into it. I'll ask, I'll ask the people on set and I'll, I'll report back unless you know. Well, ask, ask Drake. He's up yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Drake. But yeah. listen, what, you know how you can find him? Just look for the city. There'll be somebody running with a lot of woes. Running uh, yeah. through the six, okay. just follow the pack of woes. Okay, woes. I'm looking for woes. And woes. But, let's break it down here. Woes means like <laughs> homies or like chicks. You guys. Okay, if you don't know, <laughs> I know. But if you don't know, I can't help you. 
Dude, I, <laughs> what is it? What are you guys even talking about? Yeah, I wish you could help me because I don't know. No, I oh I can, but I, I'm you not could. going to. Okay, because I know what woes are. Whoa, well, uh, you do. Okay, well then, if you're not by you not helping us, does that make you a woe or a non woe? Oh shit! There's, okay. And there's no way to tell. What about a woe d? I'm not woeing into that trip. Okay. Oh, what do you damn. mean? <laughs> You're not woeing. What is oh, so? Anyways, guys, it's cold as fuck up here. How's the weather on the fucking West Coast? How okay, is it? Okay, that's what the uh, let's talk that's weather, baby. About. I want to hear about it. It's mm. fucking gorgeous. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, it oh, is. It's, so it's perfect. Warm. Yeah, perfect. is it? <laughs> it truly perfect. is perfect. Perfect. Great. Are you uh, are you outside in a are you outside in a t-shirt? It's been it's been a solid seventies. Yeah. You're outside in t-shirts. Yeah. Fuck me, man. That's so idea. tight. In the pool this morning. Straight oh. up, I, I took a nap in the grass today. Oh in the my warm God. sun. It was beautiful. It was nice. I want it bad. The weather, the cold, it just it it freezes you. You know, I don't know how you guys grew up in this. It's like <laughs> yo, <laughs> holy uh, shit. Never going back. <laughs> They're not from Toronto. N- neither of us grew up in uh <laughs> Canada. So yeah, it's but a little different, but Chicago was this cold. It was snowing in Nebraska. It snowed in the in it Nebraska. Did, yeah. It snowed in Chicago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're Correct. fucking dealing with it. That shit is too much. And what's wow. the temperature there? Because it gets cold as fuck in Chicago. It's got the lake effect. Yeah. Uh, it was I was outside at night in like minus eight, but that's like minus eight Celsius. So that's like what? 18 or something? Whoa, whoa. whoa. No, it's not minus eight. Minus eighteen? Minus eight. What is that? But then Celsius would be like that's like negative yeah. thirty. No, it's like negative tw- negative eighteen. Some or it's like sorry, it's just eighteen degrees Fahrenheit. Oh negative my. Negative eight. Oh mm, my. I think that you did some bad math. Because zero zero Celsius is thirty two. Oh yeah. Zero yeah, yeah, Celsius yeah, yeah. is thirty two. You're right. Oh yeah. So negative eight. Yeah. Would yes. be seventeen point six. That is correct. Which actually, yes. uh, pretty warm day. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's hot, cold. That's cold. As far as like the 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 butthole of winter goes, no, that's cold. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm with it's, you. Yeah, that it's is cold. tough. I do miss like uh, oh, Runza's, which are a restaurant specifically in Nebraska. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. they would Runza's. they would yep. sell uh, a cup of chili mm. for however cold it was out outside, like every Thursday in February. And so sometimes it would be like three pennies. I'm sorry, three degrees. The and price, three degrees. the price of the chili would be the would temperature. be the temperature. Yes. Okay, that's cool. So you're yeah. kind of getting something for under a quarter. Like no matter what, you're getting a bowl of chili. What? Yeah, it was great. So if it's negative, are uh, people like clamoring? They're like, "Yo, you owe me a quarter." Uh, yeah, it's I'm negative, sure. negative twenty. I'm sure degrees. that was Penny Devine, my mom. She was right. Like, uh, actually, she was a problem. <laughs> you owe me. But- Look at the bank. You owe me three cents. I mean, <laughs> b- don't bury the headline, though. What was, tell us about Runza's, what the fuck they are, because they blew my mind when I had them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blake Blake had a good time with them. Oh, yeah. Uh, dude, I had those things when I went back there. Yeah, that's They're right. Fucking, what uh, is it, meat pies? Yeah, it's, it's like basically a, a meat yeah. pie. It's yeah, uh, pasties. It's, a meat Twinkie. Yeah, it's a uh, kind of a Hot Pocket, but it's, it's uh, ground beef, shredded cabbage, and onions. And it sounds not gross. A, is that not a pierogi or a pasty or whatever? I think it's pretty similar, but yeah. mm. uh, but it's it's fast food. It's fast. It's a fast food joint. Mm-hmm. That's uh, so tight. What what is it wrapped in? Yeah. What is it? Is it like a pie? What is it wrapped in? I don't remember. Uh, it's spongy. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, wrapped yeah, in pizza. Pizza. <laughs> No, it's uh, breaded. It's like a hot pocket kind of. Like flaky. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a it's flaky. flaky. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I had meat filled. Tw- I had meat filled Twinkie in my head, and I was uh, imagining a Twinkie. Well, that's a good way to explain it when people don't know. Mm-hmm. I think Hot Pockets probably the best way to explain it. But right. oddly, a, a pervert also discovered these things. Yeah, you know, pervert, he was trying sure. to yeah. make. He's like, mm-hmm. He was trying to fuck something. He was like, "It actually tastes pretty good." St- he was sticking his dick into a Twinkie and was like, "Meat filled Twinkie." Huh. I've got an yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah, his mom, his mom, called him, you got your meat in a Twinkie, and he's like, "Mom, that doesn't run." <laughs> you got your meat in a Twinkie again, and you're like, "Wait a second, runs." Can I buy? <laughs> what did you say? Twenty thousand dollars to open a restaurant? What are you talking about? What are you gonna call it? I'll call it Runza's. Because <laughs> uh, when Get you open the door, out. I had to <laughs> runs to the bathroom and take my dick out of a Twinkie. Diarrhea.
Uh, sure. That being said, Runza rocks. I don't want Runza to listen to this and think that I don't respect the Runza. No, Love respect Runza. the Runza. Oh, yeah. No, all praise be to the Runza. I was fortunate to. <laughs> gotta respect the Runza. You gotta respect the Runza. If you open a Runza's in West Hollywood, how long would it last? No, an afternoon. You couldn't, like, you, couldn't even, you couldn't even open it before it would close. One yeah, minute, sure. right? Yeah, yeah totally. Absolutely. Totally. When it would not work in Southern yeah. California. It's got to be a very cold climate in, in order for you to be like. Isn't that a damn shame? <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, how much is the bowl of chili today? It's $112. It's <laughs> 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 <For laughs> $112. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Better be a good-ass bowl of chili, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, so remember that place in uh, in Hollywood or West Hollywood uh, across from the DGA, Kyle? What's that, break? The Griddle. The yeah, griddle. They, they were like the griddle that had yeah. good ass pancakes. They're known for obviously like pancakes and waffles, but they had like this fucking crazy chili menu. And I hadn't been there in yeah. years. <laughs> they did. And I was meeting because somebody. Of diarrhea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm going to go there and I'm going to like just crush some chili because a good chili's <laughs> legit, right? Yo, like, fuck yeah. good chili. I love, I love some good chili. I love oh, good fuck yeah. So I get in there. I look at, they have up on the wall, they have these like, um, these plates that have like the names of the chilies up on them and with like descriptions. And I'm like savoring it. The waitress comes over. She's like, hey, what's up? You've been here before? I'm like, it's been years. I'm ready to get some XYZ chili or whatever it was. And she goes, we don't have chili. And I was like, what? She goes, we don't have chili. We haven't had it for a few years. And I was like, you have all the plates no, up. I mean. And she goes, we kept the plates up. And I'm like, well, then, but so why? And why she goes, keep the plates up? Because the guy who like made all the chili died. Oh, fuck. And I was like giving her like a little bit of like, I think you should take the plates down. She's like, I think we should keep them up because he died. And I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you got to keep them up. They have well, to stay up. They're staying up. They couldn't get another chili guy? I don't know. I think it was a, like a, a thing. Get another chili guy. Dude, the chili. I agree. Dude, I'm with you. I couldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, honestly, the chili business over there lived and died with that Dude, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, really did. <laughs> yeah. I love a good bowl of chili. I'll say, you know, Wiener Schnitzel has a pretty good chili in my yeah. <laughs> humble opinion. Wiener Schnitzel's got good Does chili it? dogs. Yeah, the chili <laughs> dogs are kind of bomb. I remember you guys <laughs> loved Wiener Schnitzel. Fuck yes. Oh yeah, I remember you and Kyle, Blake and Kyle. What you got, are you guys saying? Wiener Schnitzel. Schnitzel. Yeah. Schnitzel. Yeah. yeah. yeah the Schnitz. What, Wiener yeah, Schnitz. The, the you gotta eat at the Schnitz. <laughs> I remember I was going to one of my first ever auditions was for um, uh, Thirty Rock and Diarrhea. I was going to NBC to audition for it, and I stopped at that Wiener Schnitzel that was right across the street. Yep, still there, right? Yeah, and just. <laughs> got there early. It was like, I was going to run my lines before going into the audition and just pounded some Wiener Schnitz. Yeah, good and for went you. into this audition. <laughs> I farted so bad on the way into, I was like trying Oof. to time it. To, I, I was seeping. Right. And so I was like, they called me in and I was like, well, I'll let it go here. Crop right. <laughs> no. So I don't bring it in. So I was like, I don't want this to come out in the room. It followed me in. People were actively going, Jesus Christ. Oh, what is that smell? And obviously it was me. I'm the only person that just walked into the room. Right. Uh, You're fanning with your sides, pretending like you just gesticulating <laughs> yeah. and talking like, yeah, it's hot out there, I tell you. Traffic's That's going this way and that way. <laughs> That's the worst. Bad fart choices. Didn't get it. This dog ran right past my behind me. Behind me. <laughs> Didn't but get <laughs> That'd be yeah. tight if, if there it was like that's exactly what they were looking for. They're like trying to cast like the Tracy Morgan type character, and they're they're just like, well, I don't know. Tracy was great, but that kid that farted uh, on the way in—that's mm -hmm. kind of the exact character that, that we need on the show. The kid who farted, a guy who's not afraid just to just to have full seepage on the way into the audition. Hey, hold on, stop right there. Did you just fart? Wait a second. Yeah. Did you fart on your way in here? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. No. Stop. Tell us the truth. Yes, I, I did. Yes, yes, I you did. got the fart. Yeah, you, you got, got the fart. You've got the fart. <laughs> Let me see your headshot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. We think you might have to part. Let us see your headshot real quick. Do you want me to say the lines? No, sir. You've said nope. enough. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Booked it. Your ass did the talking for you we today. Congratulations. To you got the fart. 
Lake Park. <laughs> oh, I do, I do like the idea that they completely were ignoring it. And like, they're like, I'm sorry you didn't get the fart. Ah, uh, part. Uh, anyways, uh, right, smell right. you later. Uh, see you. Bye. <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> like like uh, the Christmas vacation movie where it's like, ah, oh, it's a titty bit nibbly out there. Yeah. Everyone just right. keeps yeah. talking. Love, oh, love jokes like that. Yeah, those, um, are, those are the best form of jokes. So what do you, okay. what right. are you doing? As a, wait, a second to what though? Because he's going to say, they, they are. He's going to say <laughs> second to something else. And then yeah. that's what's going to be on top and we'll talk about it. So what is it second yeah, to? What is, what's the next best form of jokes? For you, nice right? just fever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wordplay, baby. Yeah. Jokes. <laughs> Puns, baby. <laughs> yes, the pun. Oh my, <laughs> I'm a punsman. <laughs> Love them. Punsman. Oh, yeah. Rapunzel. But yes. <laughs> Wiener Snitchel Chili is what's up. Also, they are the only people who uh, remember my birthday every year with the email. <laughs> so, shout oh. out to Wiener Snitchel. Hey, Snitchell. I remember your birthday. I think it's coming around the corner, isn't it? It is, it is. Just around the river bend. Wait, wait so that's a meat based chili, correct? <laughs> yes, no yeah, beans. Yeah. I can't no get down chili. with that. No, I need some no. beans as well. Like, especially when it's like soupy. Ugh, I'm not, I can't <laughs> fuck with that, dude. And that they're yeah, like, I hear like you. when it pours, when a, po- when a chili. Like evenly pours, Mm-mm. not for me. No, nope, it's got a clump. I hear you. You gotta have the beans. You gotta have the beans up. In I it. need beans. Oh, I actually I hear prefer you. a bean chili to to a meat chili. <laughs> I hear you. But my, obviously, a, a meat and bean is. My sure. mom calls sure. herself, and she's the only person in her family that calls her this. But she's been calling herself this for years, and it kind of has stuck. She calls herself the Bean Queen. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Because every uh, every like family event, she would bring mm-hmm. baked beans, uh-huh. and would be like, "Oh, uh oh, the bean queen's here." And then it was just, right. it's just like bushes and baked like, beans Who? that she warmed up. That she's like, "I'm the bean queen." That she like added extra bacon to or something. So she just That's really funny, wanted though. that. She just wanted the rhyming name. She wanted a rhyming nickname. She wanted that. Yeah, fun title. You come you Dope. come from funny stock. You really do. <laughs> Mama got jokes. It's the bean, bean queen. queen and hot dog dad. <laughs> hot dog dad, my hot dog dad. I love it. They're wearing matching shirts. I love all that. I think that's great. Dude, I'm <laughs> I'll down for it. that. I'll have another. Uh did your guy did your parents have anything that they really hung their hat on, such as beans? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my parents. Hmm. Yeah, were they like? Did you, was your dad like a? Hey, uh, I'm the I'm the grill meister. Oh yeah, or, my dad had an outdoor grill. He still has it. He crushed it. He as was, opposed to uh, the indoor grill. Mm. Get him. Yeah, he had like exactly, hey. dude. He built like this outdoor kitchen. Dude, you don't let kitchen. anything slide. <laughs> yeah. <Burn. laughs> Why not just have it indoors? Uh, uh, well. I think you yeah. guys are well aware. K- KFC? Does KFC count? My my stepdad makes a mean batch of beef yeah. jerky. Well, Hello. That's, oh, yeah, that's correct. That is that's actually bomb. correct. If he called himself, hey, I'm the jerk man, I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. you, you're the jerk man. I love it. Uh, yeah. Because it's actually great. Meat maestro. <laughs> my mom calls him that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my she, call, <laughs> she calls him. Uh, she call, your mom calls your dad the beef blaster, uh, the meat, which I never really thought about until right now. <laughs> Meet Maestro Beef Blaster. She calls him the beef slanger, <laughs> or is it banger? Huh? The beef oh banger, <laughs> sleaf banger. <laughs> <laughs> she calls him Dr. Ouchie Meats. I don't get it. I eat it and it doesn't hurt That's me at all. <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> Dr. Ouchie Meats. <laughs> mommy, mom, mommy, why do you call daddy Dr. Ouchie Meats? <laughs> um, he makes beef jerky and ever since then he's been mm-hmm. beef jerky. <laughs> you never remember it till you overheard her say it on the phone and he's like, yeah, I'm uh, me, drying meat all weekend. You can help me, Blake. Oh, be my little helper. She's like, you, 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 you realize he has jerky. no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Dude, Why don't you, gotta- you uh, do this while I go inside and help your mom with something? The doctor's been called. <laughs> Dr. Ouchie Meats is oh on the case. Dr. Ouchie Meats. <laughs> I don't know if I'm crying because I'm laughing or because it's so true. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, un- I, okay. uh, Seriously, let's unpack that. Let's unpack that. <laughs> Honey, why'd you say I made beef jerky? I don't know. What do you want me to tell him? What's your pack? Yeah, now you have to start. <laughs> you 
I'm going to tell him about the fun long? <laughs> it can't be that hard. Just, <laughs> Mom, did you say we're having fun longs for dinner? Now we got to go buy hot dogs. I got to go to Wienerstetzel. Yeah. Make, get some chili. Swedish meatballs again. <laughs> some runny chili. I need Meat- some <laughs> sweet balls. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. <laughs> Wait, I think <laughs> that's the number one joke for most. I think I when think, someone yeah. says something and then they have to make it up, like yeah. uh, Swedish meatballs. They have to like double and triple down on it. I think yeah. I think that's right. I think that is my favorite joke form as well. Yeah. When, Shove your meatloaf down. My on, uh, an old what was that? Miscommunication. Uh, meat- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's where you get caught saying something. It's not a miscommunication. It's, it's they heard you, but then you get cover. Oh, sure. oh yeah, well, her. that's tied with he. You bitch. What'd you just say? Uh, uh, it's a bit <laughs> nipply. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I wish it's which sandwich is this? <laughs> right. That's definitely tied with uh, he's standing right behind me, isn't he? Which is the number tied? one. Mm-hmm. Tied? Are we going to talk about the whiteboard? <laughs> we talking whiteboard here? Oh, damn. Uh, we got to get a picture of the whiteboard. We used to have a whiteboard. <laughs> I have a photo of it somewhere. I posted yeah. it a while ago, yeah. I think it got published on the NY Times, didn't it? Didn't it get published? Yeah. It was in the Workaholics writer's room. There were uh, things that we tried to avoid, like joke forms we tried to avoid because they had been overdone, but... That were good in their time. Joke, yeah. like, jokes that everyone fucking loved for 10 years, but now you're like, can we move on? Right. It was like a, it yes. was just like a board to look at to push yourself into new areas. Right. Just so we're not doing jokes that every other TV show was currently doing. But right. then it was so it, tempting because you'd look up and you'd be like, dang, standing behind me. <laughs> He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Right. He's like, we got to get that in the scene. <laughs> I'm not not drunk. <laughs> oh well, that, I remember when we 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 uh and put, by drunk that I mean its, wildly sober. <laughs> right. Yeah. Turn that on its head with uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? And then the person was like, "No, he's right in front of you. He's in oh, front yeah. of you, <laughs> and you're he's like, right oh. behind me." Adam, no, oh, yeah. you're talking to him. He's in front of you. <laughs> he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> no, uh, he's and- right in front of you. <laughs> And you're behind me, aren't you? No, you're no, talking I'm, to me. You're talking to me. I'm right in front of you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And you're right behind me. I still send some whiteboard candidates to uh, our old showrunner, Kevin Etten. Oh, uh, man. Just when you're like, you keep hearing shit and you're like, oh, okay. So everyone says, cool, cool, cool now. You're like, mm-hmm. done. Whiteboard. If you write that in a script, it's like you are you just couldn't come up with anything on your own. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You're just you, regurgitating what you see cool, cool, and what cool. you, you know. And you by the way, that's of- it's fine. But if you're a writer and you're getting paid to like create shit, yes, exactly. I feel like you should at least expect a little bit more of yourself. I agree. People are kind you. of flagrant about that on like Twitter and stuff too. Like you'll see like whatever, 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 and then it'll be like, We're- that's it. That's the tweet. That's how like they end the tweet. Right. It's that's like, it. Uh, that's the tweet. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just right. that's like meme culture, you know? It's but just, that's fine because those aren't professional comedians. I look at it. I see it that way. Sure. And when you're writing for something or, you know, putting it out there for everyone, you should be looking for new shit. Right. There you go. You should be looking for new shit. If fucking Chappelle you. came out and had a stand-up hour where he was like, and man, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I mean, like, oh my God. yeah. Uh, Chappelle, what are you doing, pal? It's science. <laughs> Admittedly, though, Chappelle, if Chappelle did it, it would be funny. He would make it funny. <laughs> sure. Well, he would bend yeah, it. He wouldn't. Baby. He wouldn't. He would bend it in an abstract way. Well, that's right. Yeah. So uh, and Dave d- and I call him Dave. Dave just does that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Dave mm. Thomas. What yeah, was Dave I threw up in my mouth a little bit? Was first? Oh, you guys were talking Dave Thomas. I was calling. I was talking Chappelle. <laughs> oh, I thought we were. No, no, no. Why? Yeah. We're talking about funny people. Is uh, yeah, is that's I, true. Dave Thomas. Dave Tom, Tom, Dave Thomas took it. Is that Wendy's? That's Wendy's, right? Yeah. yeah. My ha- Kyle, yeah. to answer your question, it's from Dodgeball. Originally. Yeah, that was it. That was what yeah. my question was. It is. Yeah. It's what I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was from Anchorman. No, it's probably Every, everything else yeah. is from Anchorman. <laughs> yeah, you you said, I it's love science <laughs> is yeah. from that. It's science. Yo, it's science had a run. Yo, let's oh, have yeah. an Anchorman quote off. Let's see who could go the longest. Oh, I, 
I can't. Milk was I a bad can't. choice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're gonna win. Yeah, yeah I feel like hey, you already won. <laughs> you had a you had a trident. <laughs> I, I, I miss your smell. Lamp. I miss your smell. We had a nice uh, life. What else? I, oh, I want to be on party, you. Party mahogany, my pants. very rich mahogany. <laughs> dude, we're having the. <laughs> oh, dude. A hundred percent. It works a hundred percent of the time. Sixty percent of the time, or whatever the fuck that one was. There we go. They dude. That Anchorman owned like fuck. A whale's vagina. Be, it it owned San people's Biago. joke brains in like oh, yeah. popular like just humans out there in the world. It owned part of their joke brains for ten years. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. It was yes. inexcusable. They killed what, a dog. Oh, they didn't oh. kill a dog. I was gonna say they killed a dog in that movie, and we killed a dog in our movie and got all kinds of shit for it. But they dude, didn't. They did kill it. They punted it over the bridge. <laughs> oh yeah, Jack Black. No, they actually at the very end of the movie, the dog comes back alive. Uh, they yes. like did reshoots to make to uh, because that was the note that uh, everyone they're like, I really like the movie, but then they killed the dog, and so they had reshoots where they that's when jack black said that's how i roll yeah yes. that's how i roll yes. which also had a fucking life yeah. of its own after that so good that's what how a great I roll. moment oh, that was man. a great flick super funny like yeah. i do think it is funny to see uh, like uh, an animal flying through the sky like what is that <laughs> when you just see it like fully splayed out spinning it it, it is funny <laughs> Yeah, just seeing that. I totally forgot they brought the dog back at the end of the movie. Like, mm -hmm. that makes sense. They brought my dog back. We couldn't do that. We would have to bring back a ghost. <laughs> well, I always had that pitch for uh, Game Over board that mm -hmm. the dog is reassembled with a Nintendo suit. So it's a oh, yeah, right. dog. Oh, shit. Frank and Wayne style? Yeah. That's yeah. a great call. Daniel Stern. We'll save that. We'll just do that for the Workholics movie. It won't make any sense, but uh, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the guy's favorite movie is obviously uh, Game Over Man, and uh, oh, that's tight. They're all playing their favorite characters. And then Blake, what song uh -huh. plays when the dog arrives? <laughs> oh, who let the dog out? <laughs> ooh, 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 I like you. how he drops an O. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. oh, oh, this my smoothest friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, wish this? Blake did stand up and like he'd do the setup and then before every punchline he'd go, Oh, <laughs> they were twins. Yeah, oh, that's oh they were twins. <laughs> that is actually pretty oh, funny. That's <laughs> why they call it duct tape. Oh. <laughs> stand up oh. who spends half the You're show so trying to remember you his jokes. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> you do the setup. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I remember uh I remember the second one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was on cloud nine. <laughs> oh, hey, and man. if you're listening, write the uh, the setup to all the punchlines I just said. I'd love to really get a kick out of hearing what you come up with. <laughs> I think that'd be the tightest of buttholes. Milk was a bad idea. It's science. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I afternoon love delight. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it was the pleats. Uh, wait, what, what is, is that? that one? It's the pleats. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know that. Isn't Dude, the Anchorman quote off is still I, going. <laughs> I feel like that's something. The pleats. What was it though? It's like he's talking about his dick. He's got a boner. It's like it's the pleats. <laughs> I think that might have been you were watching it and fell asleep during it, and then you had an Anchorman dream with a punch up. Uh, that's my that's my Mandela. That's my Anchorman Mandela. Anchor Mandela. Holy oh, fuck. Dude, oh my God. Oh, dude. Oh my God. It's, but what's crazy Wait, is it actually what? works. Like, it oh actually works. Yeah. I'm melting right now. <laughs> Anchor uh, Mandela effect. Oh, Somebody dude. get on it. You got to oh. make that YouTube video. 50% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> That's the joke. I remember it like that. I remember the joke like that. Anchor Man Mandela effect. 50% of the joke. time, Mandela's dead 100% of the time. It's Jazz. chemistry. Jazz flute. It's, <laughs> oh, um, it's geometry. Yeah. Misquoting it? Yeah. yeah. It's chemistry. It's <laughs> Boy, that <laughs> escalated pretty moderately. Brick you had a pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> this cologne is sex leopard. <laughs> yeah, yogurt was a bad choice. <laughs> Chili <Yogurt> was a bad <laughs> Chili anchor, was a bad choice. <laughs> Anchor Mandela. Sex Cougar. 
That's how I kick a dog off a bridge. San Francisco, a whale's pussy. <laughs> Anchor Mandela. That's how I cruise. Are you trying to say there's a fiesta in your trousers? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh to, the ple- my to the pleats God. party. To the, to the pleats party. <laughs> I love curtains. <laughs> <laughs> I love curtains. Dude, arguably funnier. <laughs> arguably funnier. Yeah, somebody could argue that. Yeah, dude, hit it up, man. That's great. I do love, what. who came up with that when someone would say, hey, arguably, it's bad, and you're like, yes, arguably, anyone can argue anything. Duh, like what the fuck? It was a person mm-hmm. who loved to debate. So right. he, hey, he's arguably this. I'm not gonna argue it, but let's go. <laughs> it's definitely taking a jab like right away. You could argue. Yeah. Arguably you're cool. <laughs> all right. Wait, hold up. I'm not gonna argue. Let's get dinner, but uh you could say it. <laughs> anyway. It's all good. I all agree. Good noodles. I we could oh. argue. Oh my gosh, I like... Is this the come down? Yeah, this I legit hurt my down. stomach. You guys made me laugh so much. Can we see? Can oh we see God. those fucking ripped abs? Friendship. Wow. Love friendship. Yes, um, friendship is running. It's bubbling tonight. Friendship is yeah. back. Yeah, our friendship is real percolating. It's boiling over. I was really? concerned too, because like I haven't been thinking about you guys at all lately. <laughs> Me but, too. Uh, but I didn't even want to get friends. on tonight. <laughs> yeah, I was napping three minutes before the the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Kyle's gonna be beating his fucking meat with the Oculus Rift all night, and we had to throw a whole stick in the spokes. Yep, and <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Flipped you right off your beat off bike, and, uh, and yes, sir. Whoopsie. Virtual masturbation. It's the best. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Well, I was really looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, good. Uh, good job, Blake. <laughs> well, that's love. cool. Oh my god! Uh, what do you got? Okay. What's on your schedule today, Blake? After uh, the highlight, which is this? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna watch uh, basketball. It's my favorite sport. Who you got? Who's wa- who's playing tonight? Warriors, Lakers, baby. Let's go! Oh, okay. that's cool. Oh, right. Only one. Only one today. Yeah. I'm only pretty... one. Let's go. Classic. <laughs> it is Blake. Oh. Count but there it? was a there. We we should let it be known that there was a pre pod. Let's go. There was. I did an off pod before we started recording. Yes, there was a Blake gave us a let's go before we started to get us kind of pumped, ready mm-hmm. to start recording. Yeah. yeah, he gave us a let's go. Yeah, you guys don't get to hear this, but before every podcast, Blake uh, he's got a clipboard. He gives us a little pep talk. A little pep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and thank stuff. you for that. And sometimes I need it. Today I mm-hmm. needed it, so thank you. Well, Honestly. I think you guys came. Uh, Came on fire today, and I'm just proud to know you. <laughs> coming on, coming on fire. You gotta come on fire. Uh, hey, dude, I always hey, come hey, on fire. Hey. I don't know how to take that compliment, but I think I know what you mean. <laughs> hey, well said, man. Uh, huh. uh, I love uh, it baby. when all of us are just coming on fire. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? No one's ever even said that about me, but it feels good to know that I come on fire. It's are you really good. I love you know, just when all of us are came on fire, are together. We get on the pod. We come on fire. It's like a zip, zap, zop. This guy's coming on fire. His fire's coming. coming. On fire. This comes all. He's coming on fire. <laughs> awesome. It's just a good feeling. Damn. Coming on fire. Makes the pass. Damn. You guys fucking kind of roasted me. <laughs> He's right, coming man. on fire. You're in the hot yeah. seats. Can't buy a bucket. Burning others feels good. Yeah, you, 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 were, you took it today, Blake. You really took it. You know, we're fucking roasting your ass. Well, yeah. I would like to uh, apologize. Yes. What's up? Why? What happened? Are we there? Is it time for take backs and apologies? I think we're, yeah. I think we're about there. And I think, so. and I think well. uh, we're going to milk it. So, yeah. Uh, I do. I have one. I would like to apologize to my boy, Blake. Uh, Oof. Not for the roast that we just did. You deserved that. Uh, but it was nice. It was nice saying that you that we came on fire. But uh, that was very nice of you. It felt good. That was nice of you mm-hmm. to say. But you yeah. deserved a little roasting for that. The I'd like highest to apologize. It was just a funny phrase. It was a funny, funny catchphrase for for really calling you out on not having the soundboard because well, uh, I, okay. it was silent. You were over there. You were. Convulsing, you were shaking, laughing so at like every in kind of weird moments when the rest of us were just 
kind of carrying on a conversation and I look right. over to at your little window and you're just shaking laughing and I'm like something's happening over there he's, he's either fully checked out he either ate like a just 50 milligrams of, of an edible and is just losing right. his mind wait are you so you had a sense Adam you 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 felt a, you felt it I'm just I'm listening to Dane Cook's comedy album in my head nice <laughs> harmful as swallowed <laughs> Are you wait? Are you you're apologizing for ripping him up? Is that I would what yeah, that? like to apologize for calling him out. Oh, but we that? needed you to, or else we wouldn't have known that. Like, because I don't know, the, are the producers getting it, or are we just not hearing it? Here's what I'm hoping. I don't think anybody was, but I think he needs to apologize. Well, I will apologize, but what if yeah. maybe my my QuickTime audio record? I wonder if my sound effects recorded on that. So still oh. waiting. I hope so. Well, if it is, then we should cut it out of the beginning so everybody could hear the pod like we heard the pod at the beginning. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want there to be uh -uh. secret little fucking no, no secret buttons jokes. in there. Yeah, no, no, no secret, secret buttons. Jokes. We do, no. Our jokes are for everybody, okay? Yeah, what I do want is a fucking apology. When we're coming on fire. Exactly. What's up with you do owe us? Everybody knows that we're coming on fire. Okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> and we came on fire and Blake, he owes us an apology about something. <laughs> I think, <laughs> or, hey, for, or maybe not an apology, maybe a take back. I take back the fact that I didn't check my gear beforehand, but, make sure everything. Yeah, is not that we but wanna, that's not a take back. A take back is you want to undo something that you did, as opposed to did. like do you, something. No, you I don't didn't. Okay. No, I take yeah. back. Hey, uh, hey. Also, it's not like we want to write it for you. We just want you to come at us with some fire. Uh, come on fire for us. <laughs> <laughs> or was it an epic slam? Were you trying to make us feel stupid? Yeah, please come on fire for us. With the apology. Let's make this apology come on fire. Yeah, hey. was it kind of a, a long con epic slam <laughs> to, to have egg on our face? Yeah. As, as Durs would say, yolk. <laughs> yeah, because if it is, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> have yolk Did you on our yolk face? us? Um... <laughs> Uh, you know, no, I think it was just a brain fart. I forgot to uh, go into... <laughs> who let the dogs out? Yeah, I, I'm still going to send it. I forgot to change my preferences. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you don't play the soundboard in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. <laughs> well, next time it will be fully loaded, all Anchorman, and I apologize oh, for what I did. Fully not, loaded. <laughs> not hey, bad at it. I was going to say... Can you not? <laughs> Which is a whiteboard uh, classic. I mean, admittedly, that would be a fun episode. Just one episode, all anchor man. Man. Mm. By I'm the in. way, our it'll be our highest rated episode, one hundred percent. Totally. Absolutely. Like when we uh, like Stan Halen, the character in Workaholics. Mm. Yeah. Um, we had a, a character played by the very funny Will Greenberg. Is yeah. that his last name? Will? Yeah. Uh, super funny guy. And we wrote him as a character of Stan Halen, a guy that just sort of just does Anchorman quotes. Mm -hmm. And a guy that isn't funny in his own right, but just um, <laughs> rehashes other people's funny bits. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, this guy's hilarious. He's It's like, uh, obviously, it's satire. <laughs> and uh, and it was hands down the favorite character of, of like at least of every fan. Of, yeah. And by the way. If you guys are out there and you love Stan Halen, we love Stan Halen. <laughs> we do. And maybe we, we like Stan him for Halen. different reasons, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to be in the movie. I, he hit me up. He hit Whoa. me up, and he was like, yo, saw you're doing a movie? Stan Halen's a veil. There hey, we go. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, does he play baseball? Because everyone has to. It's baseball contingent. Yeah, he's a D DH. I think he does. I think he does. I bet okay. he does. All right. Yeah. Well, then, yes, well, he's in. Done. It's that easy. Uh, any other uh, tape backs, apologies, or epic slams, Kyle? Yes, I have a I have a compliment for us. Mm. Uh, I'd like to compliment all. I was actually thinking about this over the week. That are we you reading? Record. <laughs> yeah, you're reading. What are you doing? Um, well, He's I'm just looking at Notepad. I, okay. uh, are you typing on your dick? <laughs> chill out. Hey, I can't. Like I, to, you know what? You know I can't chill out. I know. I know. I'm that's a, okay. Take and that's that what back. I love about you. And that's what I love about you. And I want to compliment us for complimenting ourselves. Yes. It takes a lot to do that and just like, you know, <laughs> wait a second. Up. <laughs> what were you looking down at when you were like, I want to make a compliment? The word compliment. I'm looking at the word compliment. I wrote the, look at. You wrote down compliment? <laughs> yes. Uh, I really? wrote down compliment. Yes. Were you going to do a joke about the word? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm doing it right now. Okay. <laughs> what all right. the fuck? <laughs> this got hella weird. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Well, continue with the joke then. Yeah, uh, punchlines go like is, this, by the way. Oh, right. Oh. I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Uh, it's written whatever. down here somewhere. Whatever. Uh, it's all good. It's who all let good. The dogs I just out? think like I just think we're doing a good job. I'm proud of us, and I just wanted to say that. <laughs> it's not a joke. Do you love him? <laughs> hey, Kyle, I'm with you, dude. I also think we're it's doing a great job. It's not a joke. It's a all genuine right. compliment yeah. to us. Thanks, we have man. like what 10, 11, 12, something like that more episodes, and we're like, mm. but who's counting? Just, <laughs> I am. This dude's like, what do we have? Seven more that I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, get I to just, do. I yeah. like it, and it's it's a lot of fun with you guys, and I just am stoked. You know, compliments nice. to the chef. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, nice beaver. Let me uh, <laughs> let me take back my judgment on you, but I also want to just. You don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> I fine. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, you can judge me until the end of time, Anders, and I expect it. that. Fuck it. We're, we're fuck doing it. live. Thing sucks. Okay. This, so I, I was gonna say just to to piggyback on what Kyle's saying, except except to say that it goes without saying. I enjoy my time here. If I ever say it out loud, you guys know that I'm probably over it. I mean, and, arguably, uh, <laughs> and I feel like I'm being transparent about how I'm over it. So I have to go. Hey, and by, by the way, guys, I, I love doing I like this. It. It's not a drag for me, and it's the highlight of my week, I guess. <laughs> Arguably. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of convincing, you know, going mm -hmm. on over here. Yep, that's true. But I do have a lot of fun. I'm being genuine. I know that there's not a lot of genuine behavior mm -hmm. in your life, Anders. It's like, you know. I think you are being genuine, uh, Kyle. There's a lot of what in my life? There's not a lot of genuine behavior. So I'm just what? bringing a real vibes. <laughs> so, that is true. I'm living in a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> fun house mirror of life <laughs> you're the one with the oculus rip vr man <laughs> what kind of vr simulation i don't know kyle i thought that was very sweet i don't know how they turn this compliment into an epic slam <laughs> i don't know either no it's you know it's great he's right though because my mom called me my mom called me today. She goes, I love you, psych, and then hung up. <laughs> right. I, that's what I'm talking about. I know it's tough. And I started cutting. I don't know what's up and what's down. I'm lost. She just oh, started leaving you voice <laughs> messages of just classical music really, she, really loudly. She keeps going like this. She goes, all right, bum, I'm, bum, just bum. I'm just checking in. Give me a call. I'm not your real mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'm going to apologize slam. for complimenting us. I'm going to apologize for complimenting us. All right? Thank you. And that's yeah, Warren Brand. Oh, and that's man. also thank genuine. You. It's a genuine apology for complimenting us, for being thank good you. friends. World famous best I'm friends. I'm your friend. What, what are you looking at? <laughs> but what are you looking at every time I'm you're looking at fucking nuts, dude. I'm just eating fucking <laughs> almonds. I'm trying to get the goji berries out of this mix, dog. I'm looking at nuts. Uh, almonds. <laughs> oh, I wish... I wish uh, on your notepad now, it said uh, apologize for, the, and then an arrow to the compliment. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wrote down apology next to compliment, okay? I do wish Kyle had a ghostwriter. He's like, F I'm just busy directing. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to talk about tonight. Can you just jot down seven talking points? He uh, just has a guy sitting right off camera just whispering, what's that yeah. noise? <laughs> he writes it's it the, and then points the to it and it's like, baseball, say yeah. Sam Rock. Sandlot. Sandlot. Oh, Sandlot. Out. That's a great movie. Sandlot's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it and I think it's fun. Well, I'm excited. The way they're for, in that a lot of sand. For our uh, fans who are excited for the movie, they got yes. a sneak peek with this podcast mm -hmm. as to what well, exactly, <laughs> without a doubt, 100% the movie is going to be. Yep. Employees yes. versus. It's workaholics, <laughs> Sandlot, the movie. What was it employees versus staff? Employees versus staff. Yeah. yeah employees versus San, staff. Sandlot Sandlot to, the movie. Sandlot to employees versus staff. With a musical stepdad. And yep. Dennis Leary as Durs. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Leary as Durs. Oh, oh my God. Shit. Recap. I'm Norwegian. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm Norwegian. I'm an asshole. <laughs> okay. Well, we did it. Oh, we did it. Another Please. one in the books, guys. All right. <laughs> Woo. And that that's another was... episode of This, this is, is Important. important. <laughs> <laughs>